hey Maya. Check, check, audio check, one, two. Okay, guys, we just finished The Last of Us Part Two. Loved it, legit loved it. So, so much to the game. Like, we loved seeing both sides of, um, you know, the story. We loved the fact that they showed, um, like, character, like, arcs for everyone, the good and the bad of everyone. Um, this, and it wasn't clear to pick like a villain or like a good person. So, um, during the whole time I was streaming, people were commenting on the streams, like that they, people hated this game and that they were boycotting it, trying to get their money back for it, harassing the creator. Just want to say IGN gave this game 10 out of 10. Aaron in Wonderland gives this game 10 out of 10. Christopher in Wonderland gives this game 10 out of 10. Maya in Wonderland gives this game 10 out of 10. Like, we loved this game. It had everything. So, after after playing the game, reading the IGN 10 out of 10, we see the audience reviews. And now we're going to do a reaction video of me reading the, some of the audience reviews and just kind of, like, us laughing about it. So you should lean closer because I feel like you need to be in this, too. <clears throat> Oh my God, this one's so long. I, th I just read the very beginning. Okay, one star. This game is a slap in the face to everyone that loved the first game. Do not buy this and save your money. <laughs> like, okay, what? First of all, slap in the face to everyone that loved the first game. Like maybe if you can't handle like realizing that Joel is the one who started all this bullshit. The truth and context of the game is much worse than the leaks. Before I get into one of the worst stories ever, the gameplay is very average in today's modern gaming generation. There are minor improvements from the first game. The enemy AI is dumb as ever. Okay, I will give them that. It was really easy, like, towards the end to beat the we zombies. And we were on easy. We were playing on easy. So they, all kinds of level. they made Ellie unlikable and a selfish human being. She kills everyone and continues to blame Joel for saving her life. She cared so much in saving humanity because she had the immunity, but instead she became a lesbian and chose not to reproduce. Let that sink in. What the fuck? <laughs> I, this is the first time I'm reading these. You literally play as Abby, the character we hate for half the game. They tried so hard to make us like her, but none of it worked. Are you serious? How fucking, like one track minded are you people like they tried to have you play as Abby so that you could see like why there was someone coming after Joel like what was going on it gave you the full story I think it was so that you could set aside your bias and like make your own choices rather than just be like Ellie's the one we like wow why well, care for a game creator by a studio that's run by Neil Drunk Drunkman, who is a male feminist and does not care about the fans and the people. Wow, a male feminist? I feel like they said that because they did a lot of like lesbian stuff and made the um, main characters females. Like, wow, that was an offensive. Okay, Dylan Jarrett left this one star. The graphics are great, but not the gameplay. There are some issues with the gameplay. And part of it has to do with the storytelling and how developers are trying to sway your opinion. To avoid spoilers, I'll have to be cryptic here. You don't have to avoid spoilers if you're shitting on this game online. People that are coming. <laughs> okay. You play as more than one character, and there is significant difference between how easy they are to control, which seems to be another lame attempt to make you like that character more. Trying to play with Ellie makes it seem like, oh, she is physically beep, 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 R word. They drop the R word. It's like they turn the difficulty down a couple notches with the other character. They move faster, aim better, have better weapons, and do more damage. Get more supplies or noticed as easily. Okay, so basically they're saying, like, when you play as Abby, you're, like, it's easier to play as her. Yeah, she's built like a goddamn ox. What do you expect? If humans are infected in the same scene, they will only engage in brief confrontation where they act like the other side is invisible. The part made me curse out loud. You try to lure infected towards human opponents they engage and then just stop it. What? Like, why don't these people develop a video game? I feel, okay, Dylan Jarrett, I feel like you have no idea what it's like to develop a video game. How dare you? All right, let's go. More. Lina Slayer. 
Spoiler alert. There's so many plot holes in the game that doesn't make sense at all. How stupid is ever? There's no plot holes. All the holes are filled. Every hole is filled, if you know what I'm saying, even though it's a big lesbian story. Those holes are going to fill. And one of the lesbians loses two of her fingers. That's not going to do well. There's so many plot holes in the game that it doesn't make any sense at all. The number of plot holes is extremely jarring, especially when you watch the cutscenes in a sequence without gameplay. Why would you only watch the cutscenes without gameplay? That's your fault for not knowing what's going on. <laughs> it took five years for the wolves to finally found Jackson in the settlement. The settlement goes on patrols every day and somehow missed Abby and the gang. They must have took days or weeks to come. Okay. They're, they're like poking holes in the story by saying like, oh, the people go on patrols every day. If you've been going on patrols every day for five years and nothing happens, it becomes like a routine. And that's why they show Abby collecting notes and everybody collecting notes, how like the notes back and forth, like all clear have become like a joke at this point, you know, like they're passing notes like they're in high school. Isaac approved them leaving for a revenge mission. He didn't even approve Abby of leaving her post to look for Owen when he was deemed a deserter. I don't remember that. Coincidentally, there to save Abby when she was attacked. I, it wasn't coincidental. They mapped it out so well. It says, this is a hole in the story. Joel and Tommy were coincidentally there to save Abby when she was attacked. That wasn't a coincidence. She was in their zone, like, looking for them. Jesus, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Spoilers if you have not finished the game. Okay, wait. Let's try to find the five-star ones. Oh, oh, okay. Five-star. Story. Spoiler free. It's great fun and compelling. Go go the way pe doesn't go the way people wanted and goes for a darker, less forgiving tone where the characters' act actions have consequences. Great game overall. Great characters and smart writing. And fantastic performances make you understand both sides really well. That is so true. The criticism the game is getting is unfair as people either haven't played the game and based off of leaks and just see important clips of the game or they fail to understand that not everything goes the way you want and not everyone needs to die in a glorious way. Yes, honey. Oh, Kzart, like Kmart, but Kzart. Wow, that was so eloquently put. People really are upset because the game didn't go the way you want, but that's life, honey. Like things don't go the way you want all the time. And not everyone needs to like die in a glorious way. So true. I love this. The gameplay feels so amazing. The shotting mechanisms are impactful. When you get a hit, you feel it grabbing someone as a hostage for a second, making enemies not shoot feel so badass. The hand to hand is so grounded and immersive. The dodge mechanic is really well placed and the immersive variety of animations is true. The, the, to dodge, you had to press L1. So true. One of the best, most gorgeous and detailed games out there. Various landscapes, all stunning and compelling. And it really is. Even this. Look at this. Look at where we're. This is like the intro scene. Hello. Like, wow. Okay. Overall, love this game. A lot of people are showing hate to this game simply because they feel way too attached to characters from the first game. That makes sense. And you know what? I get that. I was attached to the characters from the first game. But as soon as they introduced Abby... And you realize that Abby's dad is the doctor. It's really impactful because that's her dad. Like that is her dad. Joel killed her dad. So, I mean. Uh-huh. It says, I even I was slightly discouraged by the changing characters after playing Ellie, but the character development was done well enough that I was eventually absorbed by Abby's story. And I forgot the emotion that Ellie's side presented. Exactly. They did a great job to immerse you in the story and make you care about both sides. And you know what? I think it's a good thing that people are so reactive to the story, you know, so angry about the story because that's just, I don't know, it's very good. Yeah, wow. It said, the ending was underwhelming, however, very insightful. The message Naughty Dog sends throughout the whole story is strong, and I felt it's taught us the consequences of each character's actions. Although it was angering, I felt it was realistic and strong in what they wanted to portray. 
and this made up for it. For me, I felt the message was revenge is a path which causes nothing but pain. Overall, great writing, directing, acting from Naughty Dog. Very well put. Abel Quipo. <laughs> I have to sneeze. COVID sneeze. Sum in Sebastian. Yeah, so overall, you know, it got um, either one star review or five star reviews from people. A lot of one star reviews. Um, IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. We give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, some of the reviews are like infuriating because people are just too attached. It's too emotional, which I'm getting too emotional even reading the thing. So let me know what you guys think, like what you thought of the game, what upset you about it the most, um, or what you liked the most, or if you agree with me that it was good, they show both sides. If you disagree with me and you think it was complete bullshit, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, um, check out all of our other videos. We're giving away a lot of stuff right now. Remember to stay weird. The truth is out there.